What's up, YouTube? Have you ever wondered how to adjust the height and width of clips in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator, and today we're going to learn about how to transform clips in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. This is something that you need to do from time to time, and so you just need to know where to find it and what the controls mean. So let's go ahead, dive in, and take a look at that. So the first thing that we need to do is open up our details editor by clicking on these three lines with the dots on them. And this gives us a bunch of different options. We'll jump over here to this first video, and then we will learn about transforming. First button is the transform button, and this allows you to change the height and width of your video. So you can see here that we have a width and a height. And there's a couple of other things here like rotation. And we can just transform these by clicking and dragging on them. Now currently our width and height are connected. That's why there's a lock symbol here. We can unlock them and then we could skew them. This isn't something you would normally want to do, but you could stretch it out like that. If you don't like that, just double click and it will reset to one. Keep that lock on most of the time. And let's just say we want to zoom in here we could do that. Then we get a nice closer shot. Now say we didn't want that to be here on the first part of the clip. Before we go up and so we could cut right there. Take our first part of that clip and reset it to one so that it looks normal and then it comes in closer when we look over the top of it. So we can see this coming along here, and then when we hit that next clip, it zooms in. Now there are things that you can do to kind of automate zooming and that kind of thing, but we're not going to get into those in this class just because they're a little bit more of an advanced topic. Okay, I hope you enjoyed learning more about how to transform your clips in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Being able to edit videos like this on the iPad is just amazing, and I'm so excited about it. So excited that I made an entire course, which this video is from. You can go ahead and check out the links for that course in the description below. That's available on Skillshare, and on Gumroad. If you do go ahead and purchase that course on Gumroad, make sure that you use the promo code YT15 to get it for just $15. Okay, we'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.